special day in the Alps. Of course, uh, for us as, uh, as Dutch guys, it was uh, with a mixed, uh, mixed feelings uh, today. The bunch attacks the Alps, episode one on the way to Chamrouz. The climb to the ski resort is tough, 18 kilometers at more than 7%. The end of stage will be entertaining. It was great, it was nice to be there in the mix again, and uh, hopefully we can stay there the rest of the tour. The Col de Palaki Pass will make a first selection, so before that nine riders attack in the valley with the hope to get lucky. The breakaway rider's advantage melts as the tarmac in the heat. They're two minutes clear at the foot of the first ascent as Joaquim Rodriguez's teammates ride hard at the front of the pack. In the Palaki Pass, the breakaway group splits, Catrick and Demarki take the lead. Everybody would suffer at the last climb. The climb before was placed not that high, but still only 40 guys made it. Mm -hmm. So that meant the whole peloton was tired. And, uh, yeah, on the last time I attacked and I managed to get eight. It's really the whole stage in one line and uh, well uh, those two two guys are uh, nothing without uh, without the help from their teammates so uh, they deserve a big big compliment and uh, they uh, they brought them excellent in position and uh, they gave everything they had so uh, now uh, we are really really proud of them. Nibali remains the strongest man. After overtaking Pino and Valverde, the Italian rejoins the two escapees and then drops them three kilometers to the arrival. It's Nibali's third stage success and he increases his overall lead. As we all know, Bauke was not feeling great uh, the first week. He had some problems. Uh, I think uh, he really progressed compared to the to the Vosges. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's happy to see and uh, we hope he can, he can uh, progress like this. Uh, he's seven now in GC, yep. into the front uh, to, to be uh, with the best 10, I think it's already really good.